Good morning, everyone. It's April 28th. It's a Sunday. It's 2024, and we're in Mayfield, Mayfield Kentucky. Kentucky. Do we go straight or left? Yes, straight. And we are at, and what did I say the name of this place was? I already forgot. Maplewood Cemetery. Maplewood Cemetery, yes. And we are looking for something specific that I will tell you about when we find it. We should be able to spot it. It's the Woldridge Monument. This is a big cemetery. And it's going to be big. It's so big that it has actual streets. This is Love Street and we're on Hebron Street. Look at the trees. Yes. If you don't know, it's been, what, two years? In, well, two or three years since um, Mayfield, Kentucky was hit with a really horrible tornado. Yeah, it was around Christmas time, was it not? I think so. Yeah. So, it, it was just past the cemetery. We saw still a lot of damage up there just before we got to the cemetery. Do you know anything about the cemetery? Do you know how old it is? I do not. All I looked up was about this Woodridge Memorial, which I'm not seeing so far. Well, we're gonna go through it. So look at those trees. Oh my gosh. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Peace Street, Park Street, Central Avenue, Rest Street. I'm just going to go up and down. Okay. It is huge. Well, if we can find it, this Waldridge Cemetery or uh, monument is on uh, onlyinyourstate.com and it's also on Atlas Obscura, I'm pretty sure. And it'll tell you all about it there, but I'll, they got a sign there if we find it. But that's it up there. Probably. But like she said, we're just going to go through the cemetery here and you can see what you can see. I think they have a burial today or a funeral today. Oh, I see it now. I think. Looks like they're just cutting grass. Oh, are they? Yeah. Look at all this land over here on the, the left hand side for and more got, graves. Yeah, and they've got gates there, so. Pillars. It's up here? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, wow. So. Mr. Waldrich, and I don't remember what his name is, I just had it pulled up on the phone, but there is a sign here. He is the only one buried here at this cemetery, but he had statues made of his entire family and some of his pets and everything else to memorialize here. There's 18 figurines, and I'm gonna get out and walk over there. Well, I'm headed over here. I just happened to notice this as well people's names happy there's a couple businesses here in town with that name there's a pearl wool bridge Joe and Vieira
Okay, so there are, as you probably saw, uh, two wool riches, or I think that's the name, buried here besides him, but they're outside the fence, and their statues are not included. Here's uh, T.M. Ashley and Alvis Ashley, born June 24th, 1813 and February 14th, 1819. It's and they son died. of T.M. and Ashley. Oh, it's okay. It's Alvis and Eliza J. Alvis and Eliza J. And they died July 9th, 1894 and November 9th, 1896. This one's 1877 to 1912. 1938 to 1944. This one's got a big angel on top over here. I'm going to go around and come up and get a good shot of it. Or do my best. Green. to 1848. Sorry about our charger making all this noise. Whoa. Okay, these roads are very narrow for a minivan. Yes. <laughs> cutting truck that they've got uh, no that's probably their their the best spot for them to park signs rest charity faith street friendship friendship street see that one is 1822 to 1894 stevens and i'm going to attempt to go up this way our way out of the cemetery. Why don't you stop here and get a shot of that angel? That's where I'm trying to go oh. to. Very carefully, it's a very tight.
There's a monument as well. That's kind of cool. It's very windy. Here you can see some damage over here. But down there, that one is knocked over. Really old ones on your side too. You need to go back to the really the late 1700s. I don't know if they did Very that. early 1800s at least. There's 1918. That was so cool. We just met somebody in the cemetery. How random is that? Okay, that's how our like we're random like that anyway. So we just met a couple, Rebecca and Bill from Elmo, Elmo, Kentucky, Kentucky. Uh, down near Murray, which is where we're headed to now. Um, but uh, yeah, got to talking to them and. It's so cool. I love meeting new people, even random strangers in the cemetery. So, anyway, that's our tour of Maplewood Cemetery. Maplewood Cemetery in Mayfield. We're headed to Murray, Kentucky before we head home. And um, this is definitely a place you need to put on your list of places to see. And uh, we hope you like this video. Um, please like and subscribe, and please share and add us on Facebook. Uh, send us a message and we can most certainly add you on Facebook and if uh, You'd like us to come to your area and check out something that that you're excited to show people Send us a message and, and uh, uh, before we shut it off there. I don't know if you can see anything, but you can see Off in the distance. There's still tarps and stuff from the tornado yeah. and you can see where this has been Yeah, just these are newer homes up. right here and there's some graves up there too yeah there's newer homes right here because this is right where this uh, tornado came through right yeah there. but anyway like and subscribe and have a good day